Another fantastic matchup here on NWAClassics.com. Brad Armstrong squaring off against Jack Victory. Jeremy Madrano joining me here at ringside. Should be an amazing match, Jeremy. Both of these wrestlers very evenly matched up. Jack Victory perhaps with a slight edge in height, reach, weight. Both of these wrestlers having comparable uh, amounts of experience. Brad Armstrong, of course, a second generation grappler. His father, Bullet Bob Armstrong. And not to mention, Brad Armstrong has brothers in the professional wrestling game. Of course, brothers Scott, Steve, Brian Armstrong. Jack Victory now very effectively taking the fight to Brad Armstrong on the offensive. Into the ropes, ladies and gentlemen. Leapfrog by Armstrong. Nice drop kick. Brad Armstrong with two beautiful drop kicks. Sending victory to the floor. And as you can clearly see, Brad Armstrong has the quickness advantage over Jack Victory's height advantage. So it's just a matter of which advantage is going to take pursuit here in this matchup. Referee Carl Fergie making the count. Jack Victory now making his way back into the ring. Wisely now trying to slow down the momentum of this match. Brad Armstrong on the offensive. Now both men jockeying for position, sizing each other up here. There we see a collar and elbow tie-up, followed by a headlock by Brett Armstrong, and going behind for an arm lock, and Jack Victory easily makes it to the ropes. Brett Armstrong clearly out-wrestling his opponent. Jack Victory taking the shortcut to break up that hold. Another side headlock by Victory. Out of that collar and elbow tie up. Brad Armstrong now. Trying to figure out an escape. Jack Victory right now has the, has the matchup going his way. All he has to do is be consistent with his domination and that could very well lead to a victory for Jack Victory. No pun intended. Into the ropes. Shoulder smashed by Jack Victory. Over the top. Arm oh. drag. Beautiful arm drag takedown by Brad Armstrong. And now that wrestling background is coming to the forefront with that well executed arm lock by Brad Armstrong. And I guess Jack Victory was complaining to the referee about hair pulling. I didn't see any hair pull on that, Jeremy, but apparently. Uh, Referee Carl Fergie felt the need to break it up. Brad Armstrong complaining that he did not pull the hair. I mean, because you, you can always believe a guy with hearts on his tights. Well, be that as it may, Brad Armstrong is ready once again for Jack Victory. Both men sizing each other up once again. Another collar and elbow tie-up. Followed by a headlock, this time administered by Brett Armstrong, followed by a headlock takedown, and Brett Armstrong once again focuses on that left arm. Again, wrestling fans, take a look at the elbow of Jack Victory as Brett Armstrong has that arm lock cinched in. He's bending that elbow at an awkward angle. Referee asking Jack Victory if he wants to submit very easily to separate that elbow now if you can look at the wrist and the elbow being twisted by Brad Armstrong really applying the pressure on Jack Victory that arm almost looks disjointed when talking about the left arm of Jack Victory and now Victory little Irish whip there Shoulder tackle, which quickly sends Victory to the canvas. 
Little running of the ropes. Huge scoop, nope. Followed by an amazing drop kick by Brett Armstrong. Another arm drag. And once again, targeting that left elbow of Jack Victory. Five minutes expired in the match, ladies and gentlemen. Brad Armstrong continues to work the arm of Jack Victory as he applies pressure on that elbow. I don't know how much more punishment that elbow can take. Jack Victory now spinning around, trying to make his way to his feet. Trying to think of an escape, ladies and gentlemen, as Brad Armstrong continues to apply pressure. A reversal now. And Jack Victory with a hard left hand in desperation staggers Brad Armstrong. This is Jack Victory's opportunity to get some feeling back in that left elbow and to chance to collect his thoughts and think of a strategy on how he can win this matchup. Jack Victory now smashing. Brad Armstrong's head into that canvas, going for a body slam. <clears throat> Executes the scoop slam, followed by an elbow drop, followed by a second. One, two. Brad Armstrong kicks out on a count of two. Oh, nice back elbow by Victory. All he's got to do is stun Armstrong just long enough to attain a three count. It only takes three seconds. A little Irish rip to the ropes. Big back body drop administered by Jack Victory. And now Jack Victory targeting the throat area of Brad Armstrong. Victory now trying to weaken Armstrong, wear him down. Referee better be careful and make sure that's not a chokehold. The wrestler who is weakened, who doesn't have enough strength, can have his shoulders pinned. And one has to think how much punishment he can administer that chin lock because he's given that chin lock on the left arm, that same left arm that Brett Armstrong has been targeted throughout this match. Many times wrestling fans, a match is a wearing down process where you try to sap the strength of your opponent. That's where cardiovascular strength comes into it. There you go, referee checking the arm of Brett Armstrong. If it goes down three times, Jack Victory will win this match. And Brett Armstrong is showing some fight here in this match. Brett Armstrong has to get to his feet. Looks like he's going to do just that. Both men Brett back Armstrong up. now with some effective elbows to the gut. And oh, and Jack Victory just sends Brett Armstrong through the ropes and onto that cold. Hard on creep floor. No padding outside the ring, wrestling fans. This is old school professional wrestling. This is not sports entertainment. This is wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, at its best, and it's wrestling that you're only going to see right here at NWAClassics.com. Jack Victory now. Very pleased. And happy with himself. Here we go in a sunset flip from the apron. And here we go. We got to cover one, two, and oh, almost a three count. I could have sworn that was going to be it. Do a little Irish whip there by Jack Victory, followed by a boot to the midsection, to the sternum area of Jack Victory. And now Brad Armstrong is looking to collect himself. And now it looks like he's getting his second win back. Some shots to the midsection. Another Irish whip, followed by a beautiful drop kick. And now Jack Victory is begging off. 
But Brett Armstrong is having none of it. Little throw to the turnbuckles. And now Brett Armstrong with a sleeper hold. Brett Armstrong now. Belly to back suplex, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the winner. The very popular Brad Armstrong. What a spectacular match. Ladies and gentlemen, right here on NWAClassics.com.